Hi, <clears throat> Gadget Man Dan from Canada. I'm not very political, but when I saw that you had a Russian operative as, as president, it piqued my interest. A psychopath and a compulsive liar. This is amazing. So I've been watching a lot of your news and I've been seeing a lot of stuff. You know the day that that senator got shot? Before he got shot, my friend and I were sitting at this very table and I told him, I said, something that amazes me is America has more stupid, crazy, insane, poor people than any other country in the world and they have access to guns. And I told him I was absolutely amazed that they weren't shooting Republican senators because of what they were doing. I went out, I came home, my prophecy materialized. And I had no idea. I just observe, I'm not a violent person, I don't condone violence. But it seems to me that the way that you people are treating the poor is just asking for it. So you better get guards. You better get people to look after you, to protect you. Because when you have so many people who have nothing to lose, they'll fucking do something. And it's like you guys are asking for it. I mean, it blows me away. I'm sure there are a number of nice Republicans, good Republicans. In English, when the term a number is stated, that means you can count them on one hand. So you got like five good Republicans. The rest are shit. So that's why I use that tagline, shit, because you guys are going to make America shit. That's what you're going to see this summer. People wearing Trump hats that say, make America shit. There's going to be protests. And when you're leaving church, somebody's going to take a shot at you. This is truly what I think. Because you created a law that allows crazy people to have guns. That's fucking pricey. You were asking for them. And then you do this. You literally kill people with this fucking bill to give the rich a fucking tax cut. Boy, it's a good thing you guys aren't Christians because these are all going to hell. If you are Christians, you wouldn't treat the poor like this. You have no idea. You're living in today. In the future, they're going to look back at this and they're going to call you the worst government ever. So the reason that I did this is because I feel sorry for your people. In Canada, everything is paid for me. All of my government, all of my health care, everything is paid. I've never paid anything for health care. And I have a lot of health issues. And you've created it, so it's just sad. And I know the secret agenda to your fucking health care. What's going to happen is... The poor, I mean, the middle class are going to get sick. They're going to go in the hospital, they're going to spend all of their savings, and then they're going to have to mortgage their home, and then they're going to default, and the financial institutions are going to come in and pick up their property for nothing, and those people will be homeless. And you can be proud that you did it. It seems like you guys just want to paint a target on yourself. So, I'm... Uh, I'm just amazed, but like I say, you will see this summer people wearing hats that say, Trump, make America shit, and you guys did it. May you all roast in hell, if I believed in hell, but I don't. I believe in reincarnation, and when you guys come back, you're fucked. You're all going to be poor, and the rich guy's going to step all over you, and you know, you're going to know how it feels. So. Good luck. Thanks.